I just realized we have a ton of experience points and we haven't put anything in anything. Um, part of me wants to immediately invest in this to get the next level of lock picking, but I don't know. I also want to put more in Dementation. I guess I could do this, right? That leaves me with one. It's not too terrible. Uh, what does this do? Wits improve combat, defense, and hacking. Research. Perception, yeah, no. Oh, I should put more in dexterity. That was foolish of me to not do earlier. Uh, man, two in dexterity is pretty good. But one in dexterity, one in dementation. Uh, actually, this might be the most optimal. Yeah, that's pretty good. I need to remember to level these up. want those points in there at the very least, so let's do that. Let's talk to the homies population. What? Get away from me! Leave me alone! I need to know of the disease that haunts the homeless. <coughs> oh, you do? Well, I don't believe you. You're after my aluminum cans, aren't you? Well, you're not gonna get them. Just get away! When you recall your tale to a friendly, familiar face? Ah, oh, okay. All I know is that old Tin Can Bill, he's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. And that's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Where is this man of the cans? Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. Farewell, my bedraggled beauty. Um, Unpronounceable said, wasn't there also a thing that required Scholar? Yes, thank you for reminding me, but I need a research skill of six, so I just had to put an extra one in there, and now one more in intelligence will increase that. So I need to spend nine or eight, we'll probably spend the eight. but otherwise not terrible, not awful. Where did she say old Tim was? Huh? Keep your hands off my stuff. This guy? I completely missed what she was talking about. It was just completely out of my brain. This is a pretty skybox. Look at this. Ignore the dead body. Just look at this. This is pretty. I like that. In an alley next to a bar across the road. I wish... <laughs> it feels like the voice actor lines came before they actually, like, wrote the dialogue. Or, uh, designed the maps, I mean. So it's like... 
How am I supposed to discern what anything is? Where is an alley beside the bar across the place? None, none of these things, none of these locations are across from each other. What are you talking about? Alley to the right of the confession club. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, that's fine, we'll go there. What do we need to do? Unless we're talking about a different question. Sorry, I'm lurking in and out. It's not your responsibility to play the game for me, Colonel. It's okay. I'm just sleepy, so it's making comprehension hard. This is going to be an interesting let's play for the people watching on YouTube. That's all I'm going to say about that. You're welcome. You're welcome for this, YouTubers. That's what I figured, I just wanted to be sure. I couldn't remember how that mechanic worked. Didn't I have to go here? I think I did. We got Martin's info, right? And uh, then there was someone else that was staying here, wasn't there? What are the names on here? Milton, Glazer. Glazer is a woman. I think it's Milton or Milligan. It's gotta be Milton. for advanced students. That's helpful. But that'll give me melee weapons. Melee ability of two. Okay. They said this is where I needed to, sh to to come to find whatever it was for the rest of that clue. I guess not. Interesting. All right. Well, I don't know. I don't know where to go. The phone? Toaster the phone? What? I tried to interact with the phone. It didn't seem to let me. Is it interactable? Oh my god, Mr. it is. Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I do hope you realize oh, that we're Oh no, I already listened to this. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Yeah, I already listened to that. There's nothing super special about that, because I actually heard, I saw the person who gave the first phone call while they were giving it in the diner in Santa Monica. Yeah. Alright. 
There's an alleyway in front of the last. You call it the last bullet. It's called the last round. <laughs> There's an alleyway in front of the last round. There's a door. Oh, interesting. I'll have to look. Oh. Okay. Now let's go back to the last round. Colonel says this is the blowjob nook. <laughs> I'm being crass, the fellatio nook. I feel like that sounds worse. I think that sounds worse than blowjob nook. Right, let's find the last round. Because I don't know where I'm going anymore. This is the right, I think. In front, there's a alleyway in the front. I don't see the front. I see this alleyway, which has no doors that are interactable. And then I don't see any other alleyway. There's this place, which is under the overpass. You got any cans? Lots of money. There's nothing there. Now I can go in here, but that's where the werewolf murder happened. And over Take here, this now. guy won't talk to me. Is this a door? Oh, the, the blockage that was here before is gone. <coughs> Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is, is that you, Fred? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. Ah... I see you wear the Dark Brother's mark. <laughs> Dark Brother? What are you talking about? It's just me, old Tin Can Bill. Now leave an old man alone to sleep in peace. I don't want to be bothered unless you've got a bottle to share. He shares like the same face model as Vandal, but just they put a like old man texture on his face and then just made him do an old man voice, which is funny. Hey, the shadows of the past. May the shadows of the past haunt your present. Speak. It was a monster, you see. A monster with his face all twisted and ugly, teeth longer than your finger, and these eyes piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before, still giving me bad dreams. Uh, tell me of the Dark Brother's lair. <laughs> up through the sewers he did just around the corner there <coughs> don't want to go back to the bad place friend <coughs> don't let the monster come back and take me there <coughs> uh, the bestial brother will haunt you no more protect thyself hoochmeister deep of the Atlantic bestial brother will pay for Heart the price of your puncturing tree. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. I guess that counts as a masquerade redemption, so. Let's go down here. Stop doing that. Mother, and be too pleased. I'm too pleased. Okay, we just have to, uh,. Rustling robes of the Reaper. Did you scare him to death? I guess so. I wasn't really thinking of that. But if that's what happened, then okay. Oh, yeah, this fight. 
first time I played this game, this was the first fight where I died against anything. Your brother, you are. Brother Canker, they call me. High Lord in the diseased halls of the dead. The, corrupted, the blood, the bloated bodies, the maggot ripped mortal shells. These are the signs, the coming of a new age. Uh. Dante, Dante, Doom and Devils. Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Join us in these last nights, spreading our disease upon the earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. <sighs> Your words weigh heavy as brimstone. The doors have been opened, the seals broken, and the final steps into the abyss. The terrible mysteries of the ninth circle. <laughs> Why do you prance aside these dregs? Sick, hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. They are the vessels of darkness, carrying the diseased truth in their veins. <laughs> <laughs> I will stand no more for the spreading of your sickness. Come, join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh. Blah. Yes, we will dance this devilish jervish until you are dead. Oh, I didn't mean to auspex. Whatever. That pack. Use. Oh, get out of here with your celerity. One experience point. Good for me. Celerity and potence are a very powerful combination. Give me your 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 rat milk. Give me that red red milk, baby. 
Alright. Man, I wish firearms did, like, any damage at all early in the game. Just mash through his dialogue and then try to kill him, I guess. On your way down here, brother. The, uh, the doors have. The breath. Come. Wait, why did that just unequip my gun that I had equipped? That is super irritating. I literally had it equipped. What the f what the fuck? Yeah, that's fine. I guess that checks out. I can't believe I got one whole experience point for that. It's like Christmas. Jack says, Ahoy, ahoy. Still vamping, I see. Indeed, we are playing more Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. A lovely video game that I like a lot that I am actively struggling to play right now because my brain is melting. Let's go speak to Strauss. I vaguely remember this enemy having a much longer storyline. Maybe I'm confusing multiple quests for like the same quest.
Where is the chantry? I forgot. Not over there. I think it's over here, right? I genuinely don't remember where it is at all. The chantry is on the way to the rast, last round on the left. Okay. So there's last round. Where is the chantry? I just need a I just need a bus stop to orient myself, that's all. Between ten and eleven. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Alright, so we'll walk over to the chantry, turn this quest in with Strauss, see if he has anything more for us to do. My guess is yes, because he's a busybody. There we go. There it is. This is why I keep missing it. Can I be of assistance? Might, uh, might have trade words, Wizard King. Of course. Uh, I still seek the source of the dark disease. I see. Wait, did I not find what it? What is it? Uncloud this Camarilla. Uh, no. I'm so confused. Hold on. Oh, I have to report back to Damsel. Gotcha. Well, that was dumb of me. Why did I walk all the way here if I just had to report to Damsel? I just need to remember it's like tucked in back here. That's the best way to make me remember that. All right, so last round we'll go talk to Damsel then, then we'll talk to what's his name. Colonel says that we're right next to Damsel. No, I'm not. Any amount of time I have to spend walking uh, is is the worst. Ugh, candy. The carrier pigeon is extinct. Right on. Except we dusted a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these sick sons of bitches. Okay, this is what I remember. All right, the pigeons for this cat to catch, I begin my prowl. The tainted blood will clog the gutters of the city. My hunt begins. There we go. Damsel's informed you that there is more than one plague uh, bear in the city. I'll need to be straight. She su suggested going to speak to Ghoul Paul. Oh, Paul. That's what it was. At the Skyline Apartments. Okay, we can do that. We can look for Paul.
Paul in the skyline. Baby sale. Fresh babies for sale. Get them while they're fresh. Day old babies, 30% off. Paul Anderson, five. We'll go up here like a reasonable boy. Please don't cook my fur. Here we go. Hi, Paul. It's Hannah. Just calling to see how you are. I hope I didn't give you what I've got. Uh, I feel like crap. Actually, I need to ask you a favor. Could you pick me up some cold medicine at the store? <coughs> I hate to bother you, but I can't seem to get out of bed. The code on my door is 1203. Listen, I, uh, had a really good time the other night. Maybe we could do it again sometime. Sorry, I'm rambling. Okay, bye. All right. You know, sitting up in my chair makes me feel a lot more awake. Suddenly, uh, oh no, I'm about to crash and hit the bottom. One, two, zero, three. That is good to know. Laura says, I relate to this lady. Bye, girl. Safe key. Oh, yes. I would love to open a safe. Big fan of opening safes in this game. We love opening safes here. Her quote unquote tasteful Asian decor. Thank you, your money is mine. Do anything for me? Paul was blinded by the light. What? <coughs> Who are you? I'm gonna call the police. Let the veils of madness paint you a vision of Paul. Oh, Paul, I knew it was you. <coughs> I knew you'd come to take care of me. Yes, sweet little fly. Tell me of the sickened spider who bit you. Oh, Paul. You say the most beautiful things. You wanna know how I got sick? <coughs> how sweet of you to ask. Tell me your tale, little fly. <coughs> her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <coughs> I can't seem to get it out of my head. <coughs> All right. Uh, did you dance with the spider, little fly? Yeah. I mean, I think so. <coughs> to tell you the truth, I don't really remember a whole lot about that night, you know. <coughs> Everything's a little... Blur, you know? I mean, I'm not usually, you know, into women, but I remember feeling so attracted to her. I thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. <laughs> well, 
the next thing that's clear <laughs> is when I woke up the next morning. <laughs> I haven't been feeling too well since then. To tell you the truth, I have other friends who, who've uh, worked with her, and they're not doing so hot either, you know? <laughs> tell me of the kind of dancing you do, little fly. Okay, okay. I'm a professional escort. The spider paid to bring you to her par par uh, parlor. Where is this black widow? She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <laughs> okay. Paul, I really like you. You were so nice to me the other night. I don't, I don't meet a lot of guys like you. We will share many more of these moments, little fly. I hope so. I really do. <laughs> May your wings take you to a higher place, little fly. <gasps> and then she dies immediately. Appointment book. This looks like a standard appointment book. Arthur Kilpatrick. Met Arthur at his place in Santa Monica. Remember to bring the handcuffs in the orange jumpsuit as he likes to play lockdown at the women's prison. This guy is sick. This is the bail bonds guy. Vandal Cleaver at the blood bank. Bring pliers and a blowtorch. Room 413 at the Lucky Star in Hollywood. David Hatter. Not Hater. Hatter. <laughs> he likes that weird umbrella and water balloon thing. Simon Milligan. Downstairs in his room. God, I hate that guy. Uh, Desabelle Locke. New client. Responded to me. My ad in the paper. She has a suite at the Empire Hotel. I don't know what to think of this one, but there's something in her, her voice. I don't know. She's offering big bucks, so I guess I can't pass it up. Paul Anderson, an honest-to-God date. I can't believe he asked me out. I'm so excited. And what did we learn from this, children? Romance is a lie, and it always ends in tragedy. Just kidding. Let's go down to the first floor. Colonel RPG says Toaster, it wasn't romance, it was just sex. Colonel, she said it was a date, unlike all of the other sex that she has regularly for work. She said, literally the text was an honest to God date. Yeah, because he gave good head. Okay, gotcha. That totally clear clears it up. My mistake. All right. Uh, let's see. Where the hell is this hotel? I think it's like over here. Hey isn't there, it? need I a date? Look. No, I don't need a date. Thank you, though. Uh, Empire Arms is number one. Gotcha. So I have to go this way. <coughs> Alright, Empire Arms should be like right here, right? Yeah. Alright, so she, so this lady has a high roller suite, basically. We'll have to figure out which floor to go to. Which we can just use this fancy computer for. We'll probably have to print our own card again as well. That seems like it checks out. That seems like it makes sense. 